What's up everybody and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. In the annals of gaming history, particularly Nintendo, there have been weapons and weapon upgrades that have become so iconic and let's face it, downright legendary. Whether it's Simon Belmont's Vampire Killer, Mega Man's Mega Blaster, Samus Aran's Various Suit, or my personal favorite, The Legend of Zelda's Master Sword. What makes this weapon so unique and so special is that every Zelda game has its own unique iteration of this wonderful weapon. And I have to say, every time I obtain the Master Sword in every Legend of Zelda game, there's just something so iconic and special about it. It really is a turning point in your gaming experience and your overall adventure. You really feel like you have a sense of accomplishment and of course there's that wonderful little chime. So today we're gonna be reviewing Paladon's version of the Legend of Zelda Master Sword Lamp Let's take a closer look. Yes guys, you did hear me correctly, I did say this was a lamp. Now, one of the things I have to stipulate immediately is that if you're looking for high-end quality, this is maybe not the piece for you, but you gotta consider the price point here. Now overall, this is pretty nice. It does look a little bit cheap initially, but there is a nice wonderful color palette here, very similar to what we see in the Legend of Zelda games. I love that purple offset against the green. Again, there's not a lot of detail here, but you have to consider the price point. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not as detailed as you would want it to be. This piece is actually pretty interesting because the further and further down you go, the more high-end it looks, sort of. Now the midsection of this piece looks pretty good. Now, of course, it does look plasticky, but I do love that little centerpiece, which is golden, offset against the silver. I mean, the hilt, of course, is gonna look a little bit cheap, but at least this area with the gold offset against that silver looks really nice, guys. I also love the way that it all comes together. Again, it's not very high-end, guys, but you know, you know what you're buying here. Now, the actual blade itself fares a lot better. You know this is plastic, you know it's cheap, and it really doesn't weigh that much. Nevertheless, the way that they painted it looks like it's actual metal, and I think that's pretty impressive. I also love how ornate it gets, especially in this area. Look at the engraving, that wonderful logo of the Triforce just looks pretty good, guys. Again, this is cheap, you can feel it, you can sense it, but they did it in such a way to mask how plastically this thing really looks, and I think it's an overall good job. You know, if I had to summarize this piece in one word, it would be illusion because a lot of what they did here is an illusion. The base here is really nice. They painted it in a way, especially in the texture, that it does look like stone. It has that wonderful insignia of the Triforce. I mean, guys, it's so funny because it messes with your eyes. It looks like it's a lot heavier than it is, but when you lift it, you know it's plasticky. Nevertheless, again, kudos to the people that designed this because it is a real trick to the eyes. That is pretty cool. Now, of course, this is a desk lamp, so it has a light-up feature, and this is where it really shines literally. I have to admit, for something that looks so plasticky, this thing shines and is pretty damn bright. And when you light it up, it does look pretty amazing, guys. Even though I feel like kind of an idiot because it took me about 30 minutes to figure out what button to press in order to light it up. Nevertheless, it is really cool, guys. You can use either a USB or batteries to light this bad boy up, and I think this is just really cool looking, guys. And I do have to admit, for something that feels so cheap and plasticky, it does have a significant presence on a desk, which is really cool. Now, I can't necessarily categorize this as a holy grail piece, because it's far from it, but this is great as a complementary piece, or if you want to accessorize an already more high-end piece of The Legend of Zelda. Definitely pick this one up in that case. And, you know, if you just want to have something on your desk that looks really cool, I would say this one is, you know, pretty nice. And you gotta love the price point, and most of the cases you can get it for less than 30 bucks. Now before I go, I just want to thank the folks over at GameStop, not only for sticking it to Wall Street, but for also sending this wonderful piece over for review. Alright everybody, so that's my official review of Paladon's version of The Legend of Zelda Master Sword Lamp. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews.